<laughs> I am so happy it's Friday. Happy Friday. A happy Friday to your baby. Yes. It is Friday. Yes. Woo. I live for Fridays, you guys. I swear, I wake up, I live for Fridays. Okay, I live from Friday to Saturday. Look, Sunday is a, is, that's a work night. Because you can't do nothing on Sunday because you got to get ready for the week. Really, we only got two days. We don't got that much. We work all, look, don't get me started, y'all. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you. Thank you so much. For clicking on my video and watching it. Till the end. Till the end. Thank you. It's only a few minutes. Thank you for giving me that time out of your life. Thank you. Look at my hair. I'm so excited to fix my, my little hair. Okay. Look. I'm, look. I, you guys, I'm telling you, a whole different energy on Friday. My energy is good all through the week. But Friday... Babe, man, my job is so internally uh, stressful. Oh, I, oh, I, I ain't finished with my oh. Uh, like, share, comment, and hit that red button that says subscribe. Turn that red to gray, y'all, and hit that bell so you be notified when I upload. And you know what your girl, you can keep up. You know what your girl doing. Thank you for the 1,300. Thank you for the 1,300 subs. I got 1,300 family members and I'm juiced. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank you right now for every single one of my people that joined my family. I want you to watch over each and every one of them. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for every single one of my subscribers this morning. I'm praying that God, the universe, gives you the desires of your heart. Okay? Whatever it is that you want or, 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 or trying to achieve, I, I, I'm asking God right now to put his hand over you right now to help you achieve all your goals. Okay, each and every one of you guys, in the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, universe. Thank you for watching over all of us. Okay, continue to watch over the sick and the shut-in. The people that's watching me that is depressed, in the name of Jesus, touch them right now. In the name of, hallelujah. Touch him right now in the name of Jesus. If you're going through some financial struggles, I ask you, Lord, right now to open up some doors right now to any of my subscribers that's out there that's watching, that's going through some financial hardship, going through depression, hallelujah, health issues, children issues, look, children issues in the name of Jesus. Watch over them. Touch that situation, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Give them the wisdom to figure out the issues. Give them the strength to go through the day. If there's anybody watching that can't get out of their bed and go to work, they can't just, they just can't get up. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for all my 1,300, each and every one of you guys. The people that's watching me every day. If I'm praying for the people that don't watch. I'm praying that one day they will. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray that my channel grows. There are people out there that need to, to know that they're not the Lone Ranger. That there's somebody out, else out there that's going through the same thing they're going through. And they need some encouragement. I pray right now that my videos... Then my name reaches them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray that if you're looking for a job, that God will open up them doors for you. In the name of Jesus. These things we ask in your precious name. Amen. And amen. Can the church say amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
I just wanted, I just felt it in my heart to pray for each and every one of you guys. I pray all the time. There's been a few times I prayed on my channel. And I do it when the spirit hits me. Um... Because it might have been somebody out there that needed to hear that. And that's what my channel is about. That's what I'm about. And I thank you for rocking with me and rolling with me. I thank you. Look. Look, you guys. <laughs> Look. Let me dive on in. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this morning I ran by. You guys know I love Subway, but I just can't get it there early in the morning all the time. I look, I got up early this morning. And it's payday. Oh, I will look, shower it, everything real early. I was going to make it to Subway and get my parking spot at the same time. So I was in there. I was going to get my usual. You guys know I'm a creature of habit. And they said, wait, they have this picture of this pesto chicken. And she said, yeah, it's going to be going off the menu soon. We just got it a couple of months ago, and it's going off the menu, I guess a lot. I love me some pesto, y'all. Look, this is chicken pesto. You know, I had to have them add a little few extra little vines. Instead of lettuce, I got spinach. You know, you guys know how I am. Instead of lettuce, I got spinach. I got extra tomatoes and onions because, you know, I love me some onions. But, but normally it just comes with lettuce. Pesto sauce and tomatoes. So I got spinach instead of lettuce and then I added um, onions. So it's shredded chicken and then the pesto sauce. Oh man, you can't see it. Oh, there's the chicken. Maybe I need to bite it first so y'all can see it. There it go. Mmm. And I got extra pesto sauce, y'all. And amen. Look. <laughs> Look. Mm hmm I love pesto. Mm-hmm. 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 Mmm. Mmm. Oh! Look. Mouth is full. Mmm. With mozzarella. Cheese. They put these big, these big pieces of mozzarella on this. Not shredded. They put these big pieces of mozzarella on it, and then they put it in the um, in the toaster. So that's that's what you see. That white is that's mozzarella cheese, baby. Come on, baby, focus for your girl. Mhm. Mm Look, I can't eat and talk, so I'm, I'm gonna take one. Look, I'm gonna take one more bite. I gotta tell you guys something. Mm mm. Mm mm. So this morning, I'm getting ready for work. Ooh, my nose ring. My nose earring. You guys, hold on. Okay. Can you know? Because sometimes it comes out, you know, the nose ring. So I got a nose ring, see? And then it comes out sometimes. Anyway, um, so I'm getting ready for work. And I, every morning, you guys know I'm a, I have to hear the news. I need to know what's going on around me. And this lady, and I couldn't catch because where she was from. So she has a six-year-old daughter, and she had a five-month-old baby. And I can't remember if they said the sex of the baby don't matter. So her, her sister, her daughter, and a the baby, they went to, um, to go to the store to do a little bit of shopping. I think y'all already know what I'm getting ready to say. You have to consciously, a five-month-old, you know, five-month-old, yeah, they sleep a little bit in the car and they wake up and they sleep, but five-month-old, you got to tend to them. 
they always need tending to. They're five months old. They, you know, you, you know, you tend to them. Okay. Now you consciously put your daughter, put your, put the baby in the car, in in the. You know you did it because you did it. You got your you got your diaper bag. You didn't fix your diaper bag. You got bottles. You got diapers. You put the diaper bag in the car. You put the baby in the in the. What do you call that car seat? Look, I ain't had no baby so long. And then your other daughter in the car. Now you driving. Your sister's in the passenger seat. Okay. Your baby is on the the drive on the passenger side, so you can look back and do all this. Okay, I'm getting to my story. You guys know I gotta give you the whole thing so you can feel, so you can see the whole picture. I'm very upset. So she goes to the store. Everybody gets out the car. She forgets to take the baby out. Now here's the thing. I just you guys, I'm not coming down on her. I, if, you know, if you guys have short-term memory, I'm not down on nobody with that. These are my own personal feelings and opinion. I do not understand. I do not believe how you can forget your baby in the car. How can you forget that you have a baby in the car? Do you forget the baby's in the house when the baby is crawling around? Do you forget the baby? Okay, if, if you're going to forget the baby, you might as well forget the baby at home. I mean, I just I just don't understand if you know you put the baby in the car. You got a six-year-old back there playing with the baby. The, everybody had to get out the car. When you get out the car, I, I don't know about you, but I always turn back and hit the clicker. You always turn back and look at the car. When you was rolling down the windows a little bit, because they said she had cracked the windows... You have to crack when you when I crack my windows, I look to see how far it's cracked. So you had to see the baby when you cracked the back window. So they go into the store, I think it was Target, and they, they said it, they timed it from the from the um from the camera. They they timed it from when she went in there and came out. It was like a little bit over 15 minutes. By the time she came out into the car, it was 130 freaking degrees in that freaking car. The, so the paramedics got called. The police also got called. Thank you, Jesus. The baby survived. Okay. So they, they, she goes into the police station. She's in the interrogation room. And she's crying, saying, I always say people are stupid. When I see people on the news, I always say, how stupid can you be to leave your baby in the car? And then I turn around and do it. I am a good mother. I am. I am a good mother. I am a good mother. B, sit your ass down. Shut up. Excuse my language. Potty mouth. Shut your mouth. You know doggone well you, you you intended to leave that baby in the car. You figured you're just going to run in and run back out. Okay? That's what you figured. Okay? The baby almost died. They rushed the baby. They had to do all kind of stuff. The baby survived, though. Okay? So CPS was called all this, which they should have been. You guys, leave in the comments and tell me if, if you guys thinking the way I'm thinking. I just don't understand how you can forget that your baby's in the car. Like, I just don't, I, I just, I'm trying to come up with some kind of logical explanation. I'm trying to, because you know you put her in the car. You, I just, I, I just, I'm upset, okay? And this is not the first time that this has happened. Now, people leave their animals in the car consciously. They do that. They, they, they didn't forget. They do that on purpose, which is wrong, too. But your child, there was another case years ago I watched on the news where this, they, the family, of the husband and the wife and the kids, and they had a little baby, and they went grocery shopping. And they start putting up, taking the groceries out. 
Everybody grabbing bags, the husband grabbing bags, she grabbing bags, the kids run, got out the car, run, and then they forgot. And they was like, a few hours later, I was like, what a baby. And he was like, I thought you got the baby. And she was like, well, I thought you got the baby. I, that's kind of, that's kind of believable. Because you're thinking one person got it and the other one didn't. And then you're going on in the house and you putting up the groceries, you doing this. And you got other kids running around and you're thinking that maybe... The husband grabbed the baby in, his, in in the playpen, and he's thinking she grabbed the baby. Nobody's thinking about it. And then they, after they cook dinner, sit down, and Don's on them, where the baby? Didn't you get it? What? You know, that's kind of understandable. But the baby ended up dying. They left the baby in the car. And it was really hot, and the baby died. That was their reason. And this was a long time ago. And I just remember this by thinking about this lady last night. Or, I mean, this morning. But... Her situation, I don't get it because you knew you were going to the store. You consciously put the baby in the seat and then you just, you, I, I'm not going to drag this out. I, I'm, I'm, I, I just, I, I, I'm upset. Okay. You're going to have a kid. Okay. That's what I'm saying. And she's a young mother and I'm not, you know, talking about all young mothers. I'm not saying all young mothers are irresponsible, but when you have a child, that child depends on you. You have to think for the child. You have to protect that child. Okay? The child is totally dependent. Okay? I, it's about not being responsible. Not be not not being um responsible. You know? Being, being, uh, careless. Okay. And you want to blame it on, I can't remember, I forgot. You forgot. Look, I can't. You guys. That's just like elderlies. Your elderly parents. You put them in the home and people just forget about their parents. They be put in the home. They don't get, they don't get no visitors. They depend on the workers to take care of their mother and their father. And let me tell you, when people go into those into those homes, it's like they they slowly deteriorate really fast. The slow process goes rapidly. They are dying inside because they're lonely and they got to depend on these workers. You don't know if they had a bad night with their family. You don't know what kind of mood they're in. Just because somebody say what, what you want to hear on an interview, you really don't know how that person is, how they live. People that you work with, you know them from work. You don't know how they live. You don't know if really if they're a hoarder. You don't know really what they drink and what they do at home. You don't know if they're a, a, a you know, sex addict. You don't know what they do when they leave here at five. So what I the reason why I said that is you leaving your parents and your family members in these homes and you depending on these workers to come take care of them. You don't know really what their moral morals are. You don't know really what you, a lot of them be doing stuff to these people in these hospitals. In these in these in these uh, rest rest uh, elderly homes, people be doing stuff to them. See. You a kid twice. Once you're a baby, then you, you go to, it's like you go to your second childhood. Okay? You have to raise your children to ultimately take care of you ultimately in the end. I'm not saying that that's what you have to do. But in the end, that's what happens. But it starts with us. We have to start raising our children to be responsible. To be law-abiding citizens. To have morals. To have values. We have to teach our children that. We do. And when they grow up, they can teach their kids that. You know, somewhere along the line, that skill has been lost. We have people we work with that's unethical. You know, and, and I'm, wait, look, I jumped from the leaving the kid in the car to that because it all ties in. You know, and I just, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. 
I, I don't. Um, this coffee was from yesterday. I put it in the refill. I mean, not yesterday. Yesterday was Thursday from Wednesday. Yes. I bought this Wednesday. This is how much I drunk. I put it in the refrigerator. It is still good. It is still good from Starbucks. Regular coffee. Regular coffee. And um, it's still good, you guys. I, trust me, I wouldn't drink it. Before. It it really is. It's good. It's been in there, what? It's, yeah. Wednesday, third. Look, I do. Yeah, it's still good. But anyway, we have to teach our children that. You know? So what if she show her daughter that left the baby? It's okay to be irresponsible? I am just. <sighs> And she's not even taking res responsibility for it. And, I mean, she's probably afraid to because she might lose the other kid. They're already looking at taking the other kid. I'm just, I'm just going from one thing to another because it starts with us. Okay. It starts with us. It, it really does. Um, I know somebody right now. She, she's an older woman. She never, ever made her sons. And this one particular son, he was always her, this was her menace, her, 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 her screw up son, he always was in trouble. She always bailed him out of trouble, always pushed everything he did under the carpet, never made him really have any, take any responsibility for his actions, always was there for him when he messed up, always, just always. And now he's in his 60s and he ain't got a pot to piss in, no window to throw it out of. She's elderly. This is a time when she really can need to depend on her her kids and he can't even be there for her because he can't even be there for herself. And now she got to depend on other people to take care of her. And I said, you know, it's this is partly your fault that you that you ain't got no children to take care of you. You can't even depend on your own son to take care of you because you never taught him. How to be responsible. You Now this is the time you need him. And he wants to be there but he can't. Because he can't even be there for his own self. Let alone you. It starts with us. It starts with us you guys. And we have to start with. When we, when we have children. We got to raise our children. To, to be adults one day. You know. Somewhere along the line. It's lost. Because when, how I grew up. The people that's in my age range, we be talking about this. These kids nowadays, I'm scared. I don't want to be in the old folks home because these kids now they that's growing up nowadays, that's gonna be taking care of me. Oh no, I'm gonna be depending on them when I call Social Security office to get my check right. I gotta depend on the. Oh no, it's bad. We have to start. Making changes for our children. We got to start doing this for our kids right now. We do. We do. We do. Anyway, you guys, I don't want to go, you know, it's already been, what, 23 minutes. I'm trying to keep you guys watching till the end. Okay. So look here, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. The sun is coming out. And I want to end this before that sun gets the glaring and I can't finish my video. I love you guys. Um, more than you know. I, I love my channel. I love you guys. I love every single one of my 1300. You just don't know. It, this is not for money for me. It's, I can't explain what I feel inside the joy. I, I just <sighs> thank you, you guys. Thank you. Anyway, I want you, what I always tell you guys, hold your head up, okay? Hold that head up, okay? Hold it up. Yes, hold it up. Regardless of what you're going through, I'm going through some stuff right now, too. I am. I got some stuff that I'm going through that I haven't shared. It's deep. Look, it's deep. Okay, it is. I'm going through some things internal things but i hold my head up i got to okay because there's a lot of people look i work with folks that be just laughing and talking about me just, you know and this, this happens everywhere i'm not gonna give them more no more animation 
and new ammunition and oh god I'm not gonna give them no more okay to use against me I'm not Look, she's frowning today. Something must have happened. No, you ain't going to get no more. Okay? you ain't, I'm not going to give you no more. Okay? And you guys don't do that either. Keep a smile on your face. Regardless of what you're going through. Okay? Regardless. Okay, I'm praying for you. I'm throwing good vibes out there for you. I'm bringing you guys good, you know, some good, good vibes. Okay? I want you guys to hold your head up. No matter what, you guys. The storm don't last always. It don't. It don't last always, you guys. We only got one life. Let's enjoy the one life God gave us. We can't go back and get another one when this is over. When we shut our eyes for good, that's it. We can't come back. That's it. We got to live our life. We got we to gotta do what you just got to say. Golden. Yeah. Y'all Google that song. Anyway. Okay. Hold your head up. Your chest out. Keep your nose what? Keep your face what? Level. Don't be walking around with your nose all stuck up in the air, all frowned up. No, it just brings more negativity, more negative energy. Don't do it, y'all. And this is Friday, so I've got to tell y'all to stay sucker free. You know I tell y'all that on Friday. Uh, and it's payday. Oh, you really got to stay sucker free because people that got paid today is getting ready to be on and cracking. Okay? Out there. So y'all need to stay sucker free. Okay? Have a wonderful weekend. I will be back. I will be back. Okay? And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.